Hey guys, Tim McCamus back out in the showroom tonight. Want to do a little uh, extension video on some fire bottle information. So uh, we've, we've touched on fire bottle systems on several videos that uh, were mostly maintenance related, but uh, what I'd like to talk to you tonight about is the types of fire bottles to use, the uh, sizes, capacities, uh, contents, mounting positions, stuff like that, that uh, really gets missed a lot of times. So you need to check the rules for the class that you're racing to see what your fire bottle requirements are. They could be as little as five pounds, they could be 10 pounds, or they could be 20. Um, 20 pounds is the most that we see, and this is a, kind of a pro mod application, but uh, 20 pound fire system always consists of two 10 pound bottles. You know, hopefully you never have to use your fire system. I was lucky enough when I raced to never have to pull the fire bottles. I never had an issue when I needed to pull them. But uh, if you do have to actuate the fire system, you're you're going to have um, if it's and, and these are all just relative numbers depending on the flow of the line. But let's say if you have a five pound system, you're probably going to get about five to eight seconds of material dispersed into the car. If you got a ten pound system, maybe ten to twelve seconds. If you get a 20 pound system, you could possibly have um, 20 to 25 seconds of dispersion of the material. Now those are just rough industry numbers that are used for that amount of capacity. But obviously, if the, to me, 10 pounds is minimum. If your class calls out for five, put a 10 pound fire bottle in it. If, you, if it, 20 pounds is, is not not enough. I mean, 50 pounds of fire extinguisher is not enough if you need it. So, put some fire bottles in the car. Um, when you have, a, if you have a fire, I mean, even the the slowest drag race car runs uh, very high octane fuel, and that stuff is very volatile. And if you have a fuel line break or a leak or something, you have a fire, you do not have enough fire bottle to put it out. These aren't made to put the fire out. You know, they're they're just going to give you time to get out of the car. I mean, this you can't carry enough stuff to put the fire completely out if you've got a bad fuel fire or something. They're made to choke the fire down, hopefully extinguish it, but if not, give you enough time to get seat belts out, get the window net down, and get the hell out of the car. Get it stopped, get, get away from it. The contents of these bottles is, uh, is, a, is a liquid that's under pressure, and uh, the particular contents in this is most of the current fire systems, there, there's several companies that's, that make fire bottle systems. And um, th these use a DuPont material, which is called FE36. And uh, you used to probably hear stuff uh, in the past called Halon. Well, that stuff has been kind of uh, determined that it's not that good for the environment, so that, that's been phased out. There's been several versions of Halon over the years, but um, this DuPont FE36 is uh, it's a nice material because it's, uh, it's kind of a clear, uh, when, it, when it's dispersed, it's clear and it doesn't, uh, doesn't like give you this big white cloud of, of crap. It doesn't impair your vision. Um, it does. It's not hard to clean up. Let's talk about the uh, the mounting positions first. So you can see these two bottles are mounted side by side in the back. We've got a um, a mounting kit for this. Got a billet mount that we make that uh, um, attaches to the chassis with two 4130 tabs, and then the the bottles kind of saddle in there, and then these uh, clamps will retain them into the chassis. But um, one of the things is there. They're mounted on a slight angle here, and uh, inside this bottle, there's a um, there's a dip tube, which is uh, it's flexible and it's attached to the head up here, and um, it it has a, a flexible hose on it, and it comes all the way back down in here into the back. So you can imagine this when it's full of fluid, it's going to seek a, a level in there, but um, that uh, that allows that that weighted end of that tube to be in the liquid all the time. So Mounting these bottles at a um, at an angle like this, down in the back, um, so that your your always uh, your tubes always immersed in fluid, or straight up and down. Sometimes you'll see them mounted inside the car in the cab of the car. Um, they might be mounted straight up and down. Sometimes you'll see them on the front of the car. And as long as they're if they're on the front of the chassis, as long as the butt end of the bottle is down or or forward to where it's going to be in fluid all the time, that's what you want. But this is a real standard setup for us. Uh, there's two bottles in the back, two cables. These heads are spring actuated. There's a little, uh, there's a piercing mechanism in there that's retained by this cable. 
Now we've done an extensive video before on these cables and this maintenance. So that's one thing that I want to touch on again. Um, if you can see, this has got like a, a black covering on it, but the cable itself has got a, like the sheath on it is a wire wound sheath. And then inside that is a, a small wire that goes through the plunger in this. Now these have the safety pins in them, but that when the safety pin is out, that wire is retaining a spring loaded uh, plunger in here. And what that does is when you pull this out, it releases that plunger, pierces the seal in the top of the bottle right here at this part. And then the contents flow out. Now, if this was plumbed up on this particular chassis, this would be your feed line going to the front. This feed line here goes back and is connected to the on-off um, solenoid right here. There's a, there's a cylinder back here that's going to get pressure. So if the car's on, it will, so if you had this on, if you activated the fire bottles, it'll pop this and then turn this off like that. So that's a that's a whole another uh, that's another part of the fire bottle system. But this line here would run forward, and then it would feed two ports to the engine, preferably at the front of the engine around the valve cover area, and then one nozzle in on the driver's feet and legs area. So it's kind of blowing back on the driver. So that this uh, would be a quarter inch line, be quarter inch stainless, and be going out to the front, down the frame, feeding the rest of the chassis. So mounting is very important. You want to mount it nice and solid. Uh, these mounts that we make fit really tight, and the, these things are, are, are really uh, snug in here, so there's not going to be any problems with them moving around. So you do need to inspect these things quite often, and, and watch that video on these cables, because that's something that needs to be addressed. And we've had... Um, hundreds of replies from guys that have watched this video and have messaged us in, in either a call or an email or, or uh, any kind of way you can imagine about that when they did check these, they, they had severe problems with these cables being locked up in here. So if they did need to use the fire system, it, um, it, was not, it wasn't going to activate because these cables would have been locked up. So this is something that needs to be serviced every year, at least once a year. Um, twice a year would be good, once a year minimum, service these cables. Either replace them or wa watch the video, it tells you how to service them properly and make sure that they work good. Another thing is just the longevity of these systems. Now, these do need to be inspected. I mean, they obviously have little gauges on there, so um, you know you need to be in the green on the gauge, but also don't take it in the, the, as law that these things are accurate. I mean, they hopefully they are, but these, these things should be inspected. Now. These bottles are DOT certified. They're, they expire in five years. And a lot of times you guys either own the car longer than that, or maybe you've bought a car that's used, or maybe you know it doesn't take long to eat up five years. So you need to look at these. They'll have a date in this ring here, right around the top. There's some numbers stamped in here, DOT numbers and a bunch of other stuff. And then there'll be a date code on there. And if it's over five years old, they need to be replaced these need to be new bottles need to be put in because these things are not certified to last more than five years at the very minimum they should be inspected every year and checked for contents pressure make sure they're right this is just like freshening up the engine in the off season you need to maintenance these fire bottles so if your bottles are over five years old if a if a really good tech guy is looking he will not pass this car if these bottles are too old but most of the time it's really hard to get to these and see. Obviously when you have the body on here and all the carbon pieces and everything filling this in, that's hard to see. So that's your job to check on that and make sure that's right. So don't think that these last forever. Get these things, make sure they're fresh, make sure they're operating good, make sure that uh, you're checking these as, as often as you can. I mean, when you're servicing the car, just check the fire bottles because you might have a little leak in a seal here this one bottle might bleed off. If you don't check it between races, you might have one empty. Uh, you might have two of them empty. It, uh, it, it, I mean, I've seen it happen. I've seen cars come into the shop that the fire bottles were empty on, and then we contact the customer, and they're like, I don't know. I never look at that. So um, check that stuff out. Take them out. Don't, don't be afraid to take these things out. Put the little safety pin back in, and that will keep the plunger in place and pull this... Uh, cable out. There's a little set screw here that tightens up on this uh, outer sheath. And that's another thing. When you put these back together, 
you got to remember there's a little wire that slides inside here. So this little set screw is just made to retain that cable, that outer sheath that's made to just put a little pressure against that and hold it in place so that you can pull that wire out. Don't crank down on this little set screw so that you smash that outer sheathing and lock that wire in there. Make sure that you're putting it just snug so that it holds in there. So all it's got to do is hold it in and when you pull the wire out, you don't care if this whole thing pops out of there because you're going to need to use this in. So when you want to service this, just put these uh, safety pins back in and then once they're in, you can see it sticking through this side. So this is the other end of it right here is the other end of that little, you can see that thing turning right there. So that's the other side of it. So once that's all the way through, you're safe now to pull this cable out and then take this fitting loose, two clamps loose, pop the bottle out, all right? Send them back to the manufacturer. If they're five years old or older, just set them aside. Put them in your trailer for spares uh, would be a good place. If they're still holding pressure and they're older than five years, just carry them in your trailer. So if you accidentally set one off at the track and you need to throw one back in, you'll have a bottle to put back in to get through the weekend. So doesn't, and that's another thing that I've seen guys get in a severe bind at the track they'll act, somebody will accidentally hit the fire bottle handle while they're servicing the car. Maybe they're taking the transmission out. Maybe they're, maybe they're packing the parachutes or something. And they reach in and grab the handle and grab the wrong one and said, set the fire bottles off in the car. Well, here you are out at the track. Guess what? Nobody else has got this stuff. And there's nobody at the track that sells these things. So it is really handy to have a spare set in the trailer just in case you set one off. Um, I've seen this happen over and over again, and then you gotta try to overnight some bottles in, and if it's on a Saturday, you're just screwed, and you cannot, you know, if you can't get the bottles in the car, if you set them off, and you can't get fresh bottles, and you're got, you still got qualifying doing racing, do not race the car with empty bottles. You cannot do that. You can't just say, oh, well, nobody will know, I'll be fine. And it may be something as simple as you, you had a little small fire, maybe you had a backfire and you had a little fire under the hood, you set the bottles off yourself to put it out, which is good, but now these things are empty. You clean the car up, you don't have bottles to put back in it, so it's nice to have a spare set of bottles in the trailer to put back in the car. I mean, hopefully you never need them, but if you do, you got them, put them in, okay? So again, this isn't that expensive. The cars themselves are very expensive, but these are not. So this is something to consider to have spares in the trailer, have fresh ones in the car, service the cables, make sure this shit works right, okay? This is not something to just blow off because when you need it, it's here and it needs to work properly, okay? Last thing you wanna do is have your ass on fire and this shit back here is all jacked up. All of a sudden you need to hit handle and nothing happens. Well, guess what? You're getting burnt, okay? so. Take my advice, make sure this stuff is right. It doesn't take that long to do. We're at the end of the season now. You got the winter to fix some stuff. It's a perfect time to service this. Maybe you didn't get to race this year because of all this bullshit going on, but it's a good time now to take the car apart and especially look at things that you haven't looked at in a while. Fire bottles are one of them, okay? Take my advice and make sure that you service this stuff. So if you have any questions, you can give us a call. Uh, the guys here will help you out. They do, they do so they sell these things every day, so they're very familiar with the systems. Um, if you've got an old set, we've got all the mounts, we've got all the hardware, we've got the cables, handles, whatever you need to put this stuff in, we have in stock. So uh, let us help you out. If you, got, if you just have a question, just give us a call. We'll answer it for you. Um, let us know what you need, but, but take the time to service these bottles. And that's all I got for tonight. I will talk to you guys later.